Hello class. Um, today I'm going to talk about the question of the week, which is what kind of an impact do you want to have on the world? The uh, kind of the reasoning behind the question is what do you want your life to mean? So you get to the end, you have a you know a time of where you look back over your life and what do you want to see there? For me, um, on a lot of these kind of things, I, I look back to my example of my dad. He was fantastic. He um, has taught me so many life lessons and, and just by living his life the way he did and uh, by the things that he actually taught me. So, I guess another way to phrase this question would be what would you like your legacy to be? <clears throat> And his legacy um, was in us, my brother, my uh, sister, and myself, and how how you know we turned out and where we ended up and stuff. So for grew up in uh, in Louisiana, right, in the backwoods. For a very intelligent. Um, truck driver and worked construction, worked, you know, did finished carpentry, built cabinets, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, from the backwoods of Louisiana that the only time he really left Louisiana was one for World War II, which he got around a fair bit there. He was in the Navy also. Uh, he was on troop transport in the Pacific carrying Marines around to a lot of the islands that, you know, we had to to put the business to. So he uh, got out of Louisiana for that. He uh, drove a truck, like I said, so he well, drove around the country a good bit. But most of his life he, he was in Louisiana. Um, my older brother is uh, works in the oil industry, as many of you are familiar with from around here and flies around the world doing, uh, working on cranes on oil wells and Brazil is the latest place that he's working. So, you know, he's gotten out there. Um, my sister, not so much. She is kind of a homebody. She uh, has left the, uh, the metropolis that is Winfield, Louisiana, that is a quarter of the size of Rock Springs, once to go on a cruise and, and she hurried back because she didn't like leaving. But, She's a good person, you know, No, not a bad person or anything like that. <clears throat> we don't see eye to eye on everything, but then that's a brother, sister, brother thing, whatever. And as for me, I've, you know, teaching you guys, which is amazing. Um, in the Navy, been around the world, you know, made, made good, whatever. So looking at his legacy over his life of having that, having that kind of influence where, like me, I've lived on both coasts, I've, I've lived several places, and, you know, kind of get what I mean, that, that because of him, I was able to, for one, exist, and two, have influence on other people's lives in other places. So, that's kind of my example of what I want to be able to do. And with raising my own kids, I've, I've tried to do the same things, taught them many of the same lessons. One of the biggest lessons that he taught me was um, don't try to earn a living with your back, earn a living with your mind. And that, uh, that stuck, you know. And I mean, you, as a parent, you say, you know, so many things to your kids and you hope some of them stick. That was the one that stuck with me and, and you kind of see the results, um, which is fantastic. For me, I mean, it's, it's really been great. And because he would, uh, every summer, I would go with him and work on job sites, you know, and, and, you know, for a teenager at that time making, you know, good money doing construction work, I was happy as a clam. But it was Louisiana and it was summer and it was, you know, 100% humidity and 110 in the shade it felt like. And he told me that was his college program. 
he said if, if this doesn't make you want to work in an air conditioned space nothing will and he was right so that was his legacy and my kids and you guys are mine so my sphere of influence includes you guys and then it goes from me to you and then you go out and maybe something that I've said maybe something you know that you've learned in my class helps you later on you can use that to help other people and it just kind of goes out you see what I'm saying so that's kind of what I want my impact uh, on the world to be is I want to to be the kind of teacher that you know stands in you guys' memory like I can I can remember very well even back into you know elementary school and stuff teachers that influenced me and, and kind of pointed me in a different direction so that is what I want to be how I impact the world how do you want to impact the world